أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يحده الله فلا مضل له ومن يتلل فلا هادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا أبده ورسوله أوسيكم وإيايا أولا بتقوا الله فقد فاز المتقون كما قال الله تعالى في القرآن الكريم بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث من حما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به وأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم يغفر لكم ذنوبكم وما يتع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن خير الكلام كلام الله وأحسن هدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وصحبه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, alhamdulillah, with the prayer, with the blessing and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are able to perform our Jumu'ah this Friday. It is a blessing that you are able to attend the Jumu'ah prayer because Jumu'ah is the best day in the week. Everything we are going for the best. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us, now we are in this month, the month of Muharram, a very special month a month that a lot of events had took place. And this is a month, a month of Muhasaba, known as Hijriyah, where the Prophet migrated from Mecca to Medina. Now we know what is the concept of Hijrah in Islam. There is no benefit if the year keep on changing, but we do not change. There's no benefit when the day keep on changing, but we do not change. We know that Jumu'ah is a special day where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want us to gather together to perform the Jumu'ah prayer where the Prophet sallam is there to give advice to his ummah. It's a day that he gives a very strong reminder to remind all the believers to increase their iman. Because our iman will be tested by Allah every single day. So in one day of the week, we have to have a kind of reminder. And Juman is the day, the best day for us to remind each other about our deen, about our relationship with Allah Rabbul Alameen. Now we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has remind us. Inna Allah la ma bi qawm hatta ma bi anfusihim. Allah will never change the state of a person, of a nation, of a race, until we want to make changes. 
So we got to start first. What is the meaning of a new year in Islam? Amal Hijrah. What is the meaning of Hijrah? Hijrah means a person who are prepared to be, move from one area to another area. For the sake of Allah, Rabbul Alameen. Not for the sake of dunya. For the sake of Allah, for the sake of your Iman. Now it's time for us to make Hijrah. We have to sacrifice four oldies. Four oldies to become a better Muslim. There must be some kind of sacrifice. The first oldies is our habit. Every one of us have their own habit. We have developed a habit by ourselves. If you want to be a better person, you must prepare to make a migration. Move from the bad, the negative habit, the un-Islamic habit to Islamic habit. The un-Islamic yeah, character to Islamic character. That's number one, the habits. The way we eat, the way we talk, and the way we interact among ourselves. And number two, the second oldest ideas. Every one of us have their own ideas. We know we have been given the freedom to think. But our ideas must not go against Allah's command and the teaching of Prophet Muhammad When you go against Allah and the Prophet's teaching, that idea will not be accepted by Allah. It's useless. Even it's big idea, good idea to you, but have nothing to do with Islam. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants all the believer to enter Islam totally, wholly, not quarterly or halfly. You must be a Muslim in and out. The way you think, the way you look at things, the way you want to listen at things, everything must be Islamic. The third all this is called our own custom. Every one of us who are here have their own custom. One, the custom do not benefit the Ummah. When the custom is against Islam, you cannot carry on with that custom. Even you are born with that custom. And the last one is our culture. Everyone has their own culture. There's nothing for us to protect our culture. If it's not against Islam, carry on, brothers and sisters. Welcome. Once it's against Islam, you've got to make a hijrah. And the Prophet ﷺ did say, Al-Mu'min, man amman al-nas ala amwalihim wa anfusihim. A true believer is a person who brings benefit, peace, to themselves, to their neighbor, to their family, to the people around them. That is the sign of a believer. If you feel that I'm a believer, inshallah, we hope all of us are believers, then you must look into yourself. Have I bring peace to my family, to my neighbor, to my environment, to my business partner, to my boss, to myself? You must look into yourself. Have you bring peace yeah, to yourself and to the family and your neighbors and the community? If you say no, then you know you have problem with your iman. That's how you check your iman. Like how you check the battery. Yeah? If your, 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 your car has problem, you check your battery. What is happening to my car? Yeah? Anything you must check. Our iman needs, needs to be checked every day. Because our iman yazid or yankus. It will increase, it will decrease. Most of the time, our iman is decreased. When you are outside from the masjid, your iman drop. Dunya coming to you. And you thought that dunya is everything. No. We all know this day, the day we are here today, is temporarily. It's going to go. The life that we are aiming for is not here, it's the hereafter. That will never end. It's eternal. Here is temporarily. Today you are alive, tomorrow you may not be on this earth anymore. And death is just at the corner. And what did Allah say about death? Allah reminds us about the day. We are talking about today now. 
But Allah also reminds us about a more important day than today. Yawm la yanfa'u malun wala banun illa man atallah bi qalbin salim. Remember the day will come to every single one of us, male and female, old and young. Whether you are ready or not, it will come to you. And it's going to come very soon. And there is a day we have to leave this world. At that point of time, Allah said, La yanfa'u malun wala banun. Your money, your business, your children, everything you have in this world have no benefit to you. He's, going, he's not going to follow your class. It's gone. The only thing that benefits you, oh brothers and sisters, is your Iman. And today is a day that I like to remind all the good brothers and sisters, let us be committed and be serious about our Iman before it's too late. We know a lot of you, know, oh, I'm still young, I'm still okay, I'm still healthy. We know what the Prophet said. There are two great ni'matani. Blessing of Allah that we misuse every single day. There is our health and our free time. When we are healthy, when we are young, we never use our energy, our time to get closer to Allah, to serve Allah. We waste our time. Doing things that do not benefit our Iman. Going against Allah's, disobeying Allah's command. Going against the Sunnah of our Prophet Wasallam, Disobey our Prophet's teaching. Going against our parents, our fathers, our mother who believe in Allah. If they don't believe in Allah, we have no choice. We can just respect them as long as it's not against Allah's and the Prophet's command. One is against, we cannot say anything except use our wisdom, have patience and pray may Allah give them hidayah. We are not supposed to follow anyone who go against Allah's and the Prophet It's time to change. Al-Mu'min man ammanan nas ala amwalihim wa anfusihim. Yeah, that means a mu'min always brings benefit to other people in wealth, as a person. Wal muhajir, a person who make hijrah. Who are a person who make Majority of us who are here have seen all the beautiful faces. Maybe from Pakistan, from India, from Sri Lanka, from Africa, from Arabs, from Asia. For Indonesia, for Malaysia, you all have all the different faces here tonight. It's beautiful, alhamdulillah. We are all here in Tokyo now. Why are we here? Of course, we know why are we here. We all are here to do some business. To make a living. To look for some risk. To work, alhamdulillah. To study, alhamdulillah. No problem. There's the reason you are here. But your intention, your intention, the, your niyat must change now. Yes, I'm here to work, I'm here to study, but also I'm here as a Muslim. So when you're here as a Muslim, what should you do? It's time for you to practice the Islamic value wherever you are. kunta. The Prophet said, be fearful to Allah, be faithful to Allah wherever you are. That means you must make prayer, you must be honest, be sincere, be clean, disciplined, show the good character of Islam. There is hijrah. When you are here, you are not supposed to click among your own people anymore because you are not in your country anymore. So you treat every Muslim as your family, whether the Japanese Muslim, you as a foreigner, we are all as a muhajir. Man hajara min al qadaya wa zunub. A muhajir Islamically is not a person who just live from one country to another country, but a person who have moved from the world of sins to the world of reward, from bad to good, negative to positive, from being too racist, too nationalist to universal, alamin, global. 
We think that every Muslim is a brother and sister, is a family to us. That is the spirit of Hijrah. And that's why the Prophet Wasallam, when he made his first Hijrah to Medina, what did the Prophet do in Medina? Not for dunya. First, Bana Masjid Quba, a center. Why he need a center? He need a place for akhahuma bainal ansar wal muhajirin. A place that you can unite everybody together. Here in Uno, maybe. A Salam Foundation was built. Why? It was here. It was founded here. What? To unite all the Muslims in this area. Not to divide them. We need a center. A center is there. It's our center. It's time for us to work together. If every Jumat we used to give some tabarro'at donation, thousand yen example. A hijra, what is hijra? Are we going to give 500 today? Give more. If last month you give 1,000, this month you give 10,000. Can we do that? Oh, too much. For the sake of Allah, do you think that you lose by giving something for Allah? You don't lose anything. Whatever you give, Allah promise you. It's up to your faith. No one knows how much you're going to give, how much donation you're going to contribute. But Allah knows. And Allah says, Every single cent that you spend in the cost of Allah, Lillahi ta'ala, for the sake of Allah, Allah will pay you back. He will give you back more than what you have offered. Do you believe in the offer of Allah? You've got to ask yourself, brother and sister. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the understanding of our deen. We know that every one of us who are alive today, when you die, you want to go to Jannah. Every one of us want to go to Jannah. Make sure that you die with Iman. And Iman needs action. Iman is not just feeling, oh, I have Iman. But Iman, مَا وَقَرَ بِقَلْبِ وَصَدَقَ بِلِسَانِهِ وَأَمَّلَهُ بِجَوَارِهِ Iman that comes from the heart. The true Iman, it will make you declare your Iman loud and clear. And your action will prove to the people, I am a believer. Not just my feeling. What's your name? My name is Iman. Iman, the name of Iman has no value. Iman starts from the heart. You have positive feeling towards Allah. Husni zan billahi ta'ala. You have positive feeling between fellow Muslims. If there's any weaknesses among Muslims, it's our duty to pray to Allah and may Allah forgive him and guide him. Not to condemn the person, not to have bad feeling, but to try to rectify. Islah. All believer is like a family and it's our duty to reconcile, rectify the mistake that we have among ourselves, the misunderstanding for the sake of Allah. May Allah show His mercy upon all of us. Barakallahu lana wa lakum bil Qur'an al-Kareem wa nafa'ani wa iyyakum min al-ayati wa zikiru hakim wa taqabbala minni wa minkum tilawatahu innahu والسميع العليم أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين كل زم فاستغفروا إنه هو غفور رحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم وما يتي الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد O brothers and sisters Allah سبحانه وتعالى remind us O you who believe in Allah be faithful to Him be obedient to Him and always speak the truth nothing but the truth and inshallah if you are truthful to Allah truthful to yourself Allah will help you to overcome your problem as long as you are sincere and truthful to Allah, your problem will be solved. But when you are not truthful, then Allah will leave you with your problem. And Allah promised us 
those who are faithful to Allah, truthful to Allah, obey Allah's command and the teaching of His Prophet Wasallam, at the end of the day, He will be the successful one. And we hope Allah will make us among the people who are successful here in dunya and akhirah. Wa sallu ala nabiyyina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kama qala Allah ta'ala bil Qur'an al-Kareem inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi ya ayuhal lazina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima wa yaqullu alayhi abdala salla wa taslim man salla alayya marrah sallallahu alayha biha ashar Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid wa radu Allahumma anil arba'at al khulafa imma khulafa Abu Bakrin wa Umar wa Osman wa Ali wa an baqiyati ashab nabiyika ajma'in wa tabi'in wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsanihi ila yawmiddin Allahumma aizir islamu al muslimin wa azir al-shirq wa al-mushrikin اللهم دينا جميعا إلى الصراط المستقيم يا مقلب القلوب صب قلوبنا على دينك وعلى طاعتك يا حي يا قيوم برحمتك نستغيث اللهم جعلنا من الشاكرين ومن القانتين ومن العاملين ومن المصلين ومن التوابين ومن المتطهرين يا حي يا قيوم برحمتك نستغيث اللهم اغفر لحينا ميتنا والشاهدين وغائبنا وصغيرنا وكبيرنا وذكرنا وانثانا اللهم من احييته منا فاحيا للاسلام ومن توفيته منا فتوفه على الايمان ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد اذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمه انك انت الوهاب ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل وإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينحاء الفحشاء والمنكر وباغي يعيذكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروني أذكركم واشكروا لي ولا تغفرون ولا ذكر الله الأكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون أقيموا الصلاة